I got me a Hasbro Marvel Legends series, What If Red Skull? Let's crack it open. <music> Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, here on the Digitally Rebastard Network, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, Everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we are doing an unboxing and review of the Hasbro Marvel Legend series, What If Red Skull? Uh, I had this on pre-order from Amazon and um, canceled. Uh, if you've seen my video, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. I'm absolutely done with uh, pre-orders from Hasbro Pulse. Um, I'm not, I like their product. But if they're not going to ship it to me when they get it, I don't want it. Um, and Amazon shipped first. It's still on pre-order with Hasbro Pulse. It's been in the stores. People have already done reviews of it a month or two ago. And uh, I just got mine. So uh, we're going to take a look at this. Um, as you can see here up the top, Marvel Legends, Build-A-Figure Khonshu um, Wave is what this is from. Um, we've got the What If uh, logo up there on the top. As you can see, we got the Red Skull right there uh, in the rendering. What if Marvel Studios warning? Don't put Red Skull in your mouth. Uh, plastic free packaging, another windowless packaging. It's here. Got to live with it. Um, some like it, some don't. I'm indifferent. I open up my stuff so it doesn't affect me, and I've done a video about that too. So go back and watch that. Hasbro logo there on the bottom. Right uh, on the side here, we've got the picture of Red Skull and the Watchers. And uh, all that, uh, all that good stuff there. And uh, on the other side, we've got the picture of Kanshu from uh, um, Moon Knight. <laughs> Think about that for a minute. Moon Knight and the different uh, ones that uh, make up that. Uh, on the back here, we got another picture of the Red Skull and the Zestery, which just comes with the Cosmic Cube or Tesseract, if you will. Um, and then the Kanshu piece down here, Jibbery Jabbery Legal Jargon. Uh, Marvel logo, more jibbery jabbery legal jargon, ages zero to three. You know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right, you're welcome. And more jibbery jabbery legal jargon, Hasbro logo, barcode! And, uh, on the bottom, more jibbery jabbery legal jargon. And here we go. I'm ready to get into this. Get trusty out. Pew! And dig in here. Let's see. Is, it, is there no tape? There's got to be tape. Okay, there's tape right there. I was going to say, hmm. <laughs> Weird. Okay. All right. Let's pop this open here. And get in here and get this out. Got the cardboard insert in here. Oh, look. Stupid piece of paper. It's still... Haunting me. That would be the Conchu piece right there. And here we've got Mr. Skull. Pop that back in. Pop that back in there. Ooh, hit the camera. That's professional. Don't have a lot of space to work with, but I'm working on that. Uh, I've been working on a lot of stuff. And tab, tab, flap, and we're out. With the package and then get him out the tissue paper and oh i guess this is both accessories we got both accessories here okay oh there goes the cosmic cube grab that and we got the cosmic cube and the stupid piece of paper i forgot to put back in the box i'll deal with that later now he's ready to go on the pedestal all right, here we've got him on the pedestal, and we've got our two accessory. Well, one accessory. Um, first thing is, here is the right arm of Khonshu. Um, That's pretty much what that is. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, again, I generally don't like getting the figures that have the build-a-figure pieces with them. I try to get them loose if it's one that I want, but uh, this was a pre-order, so there's his arm. I'll just set that aside. Then we have the Cosmic Cube. Um, all done up in a clear blue plastic or Tesseract, depending on how you want to look at it. Originally, Cosmic Cube, MCU, 
That's correct. Um, just basic uh, clear blue plastic. Looks really cool. Looks like an ice cube. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, so yeah, just a uh, just a little little clear blue plastic uh, block, and uh, we'll put that down. And then here we have the red skull. And uh, let's grab the ruler and uh, see how tall he is. He is right at well, right at pretty much six inches tall, right on the money there. Um, taking a look at him, I mean, there are going to be some articulation issues with him, obviously. But um, looks pretty cool. Um, really like the head sculpt. Nice grumpy red skull face there. Um, it's very, very MCU Captain America red skull. Um it's a it's a more there's a little bit of reuse in in this from the original Red Skull, but uh, there's a, some new stuff too. Um, <clears throat> really nice looking trench coat, all buttoned up here in the front with the belt. Uh, nice shiny belt buckle with the Hydra logo on it. Silver paint apps all over the place, little buttons, and uh, got a buckle there. Uh, nice paint apps on the uh, shoulders with the Hydra logo. On both the left and the right, the the left one seems to be a little duller red than the right one. You notice that? Isn't that kind of weird? Huh. That's like a brighter red, and then that's more of a dull red. Hmm. Oh, well. And then you got little paint apps there on the collar, little straight red lines there. Um, back, it looks really leathery. I mean, it does look like a leather trench coat. Um, soft rubber down here on the bottom half. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. Nice, 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 nice. It's, it's you know, again, articulation issues, but there you go. Speaking of articulation, let's take a look here. Head uh, all the way around. Looks like it's just your standard um, uh, Hasbro. I almost said Marvel. Hasbro, I mean, it is Marvel. Hasbro uh, ball hinge on a neck right there. Um, so you got uh, not a whole... Okay, there we go. It's a little tight. Um Pretty good down, uh, pretty good way up on the uh, on the, the the head there. Uh, but yeah, head goes all the way around and uh, nice up, nice down. So no complaints there. Uh, not really much tilt, a little bit of tilt. But um, arms all the way around, um, arms all the way. Ooh, the arms are nice and smooth. I love it. Um, arms all the way out to there. We've got a bicep swivel and a double elbow that goes way in. So that's good. I like that. Um, wrist swivel all the way around and an in and out hinge on the wrist. On the left hand, right hand, uh, wrist swivel all the way around and in and out. And we got that hand ready to clutch the, uh, the cosmic cube, and I can't wait to put that in there. Uh, ball, uh, ball hinge on mid torso for <laughs> not much ab crunch there, due to all that restriction from the lower half. Um, but then uh, we do have a waist swivel in there um, that you can see. Uh, there is a waist swivel, but uh, not much, not much for ab crunch on the uh, on the uh, mid torso there. Bottom half uh, is, uh, that's going to be difficult. We're pretty much uh, coned in there by the bottom of the trench coat, but um, I don't know if there's a drop-down ball joint. I doubt it. I don't know why there would be. Um, but we do have a thigh swivel in there that I can see, and then we also have a double knee that's not going much further than where it's at. Uh, detents on the feet. And uh, forward rocker on the feet there. Um, let's get the cube in his hand because that's just that's just what he's all about. Is that cube being in his hand? There we go. That fits it. Oh, there it goes on the floor. Of course, can't have an accessory without it falling directly onto the floor. All right, let's see if we can get this in there to stay. Yeah, that actually fits really nice in his hand. Um, really cool, give him the... I am conquering the world. 
Uh, I guess it would be like, I am conquering the world. Mr. Rogers. Uh, really, really nice figure. Um, not a lot of articulation, but he'll look really cool on my shelf. So let's, uh, let's get him off the pedestal and line him up with some other uh, nefarious characters and uh, see how he scales up. All right, here we've got him lined up with the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series, Return of the Jedi Deluxe Boba Fett, the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Carded Destro, the Hasbro Marvel Legends Series 20th Anniversary Captain America, and the Mattel DC Universe Classics Lex Luthor. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with him. Again, you know, articulation issues... You know, you get this, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get a, a guy with his legs in a cone. Um, but uh, really nice sculpt, really nice uh, paint apps. Um, love the accessory, too. He just looks really, really good. Um, for to, Honestly, I, in my opinion, I think it's probably the best Red Skull that, that uh, Hasbro has done in Marvel Legends. Um, just, you know, the nice updated version. Like I said, there's a little bit of reuse, I think, in there. I'm pretty sure. Uh, if you're, if, if, you know, if you let me know down below, if you think there's some reuse in there, you know, drop some comments, um, by all means. And, um, but you know, he looks good. Looks good standing next to the Captain America, even though it is more of an MCU, um, which I t typically don't get the MCU figures because there's just so many variants and everything. I try to keep it, you know, close to the comics version, but um, the comics version Red Skull is kind of, eh, and this one, uh, this one looks more nefarious. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really digging it. He's gonna look good, you know. I got a few MCU things on my Marvel shelf, but it's you know 98% comic versions of them, so. At any rate, that will do it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastard Network. You all have a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.